We are out here living life today. It is about 6.15 a.m. and we have a couple landscapers coming and even uh, one hay customer coming fairly, fairly early. I'm going to try to get some straw staged so the trucks can get in and out quick. Don't necessarily love finishing harvest at like 10, 30, or 11, and then uh, having people come at, you know, 6.20, but you don't have to love your job all the time. <laughs> we'll get this straw prepped. We'll get it ready to go. We have to get stuff out of the barn. We need to put tractors in here. This right here has kind of been our straw uh, little storefront for the year. We just tucked it in the corner because we filled up the rest of the barn with hay. So we just try to keep this filled up whenever we can and guys come and get it. Uh, it works pretty well. It holds about 252 bales when it's full. So that'll get us through uh, a couple days, you know, depending on what the weather's like with the landscapers and everything. Our, our straw is too expensive to actually sell any semis because you got guys that'll sell to semis for $2.50 a bale. And don't ask me how that's possible. It, uh, we don't have enough straw to really sell up at the semi load anyway. So this works, this works just fine. So we'll get it out of here get it staged for the trucks coming in and then I'm gonna go back inside and get five minutes of beauty rest so as long as I stay low I should be just fine numero dos I actually have a lot more straw on the maybe you can see the Dodge out there Sammy ran and got some last night because we weren't gonna have enough for the orders this morning which organizationally really is my fault I should have been getting straw on a, a rainier day not rainy but an off day and I I didn't can only keep track of so much I don't know how to uh, make it more obvious that we really don't sell a lot of straw bale up I don't know less than 10,000 bales a year got the first truck rolling in he'll loop around and we'll get him loaded up in and out get him strapped down the other one's waiting and the last of the hay loads, making it to the forever home. It's really nice doing bundles that way. We stack, depending on the size of the bed, 10 to 13 in the bottom. Then you can go two bundles or three bundles or four bundles right on top of it. And it sits really well. So that's it for the morning stuff. It actually is a little more scary in the planter because when you're folded up, the planter is a little more top heavy. Uh, the combine, it would it would really take a disaster to the combine. I don't know if you can tell, it's fairly steep. Something that would be fun going down the hill if you were like a kid on a bike. We are doing some custom corn shelly. I cut it. I just want to let everyone know that when you're harvesting corn for the kernels or whatever, you're not cutting corn, you're shelling it, just so we make that distinction. We are running two buggies, one combine, and one person, or one combine driver and one buggy driver, which is me. And we are running it up, well, I'll just show you what we're doing. We're doing. Time to move on. Load the truck, man. If it ain't about to spill, you're not doing something right. Obviously, I don't want to downplay how difficult this is. Keeping the right distance and making sure things are functioning appropriately. I mean, you really got to have your wits about you to make sure you're not being distracted by anything. It's very important. You're Hey, constant attention. If anything can go wrong, then you just gotta be vigilant. Yeah, that's so good. My goal here is to keep up with the combine because whatever you do, you don't want the combine to slow down. So we're all in one 
nice isolated farm and what I'm trying to do is speed over. They have a semi setup that's dumping right into their auger, which dumping is dumping right into their 20,000 bushel bin. And I'm just racing around the farm, trying not to get their driveway too muddy, keeping up with the combine. We do have a second grain cart ready in case I fall behind. It's one of the cutest truck drivers I've ever seen. Usually those guys aren't all that cute, from my experience. Truck driver's chasing me down, man. He went for me. Min maxing. What goes in must come out. What comes out must go in. But nothing gets past the gatekeeper right there. He's in charge of it all. Keep an eye on the bin, no plugs. Very important job. Breath of fresh air. Waiting. Boy, am I relieved. Yesterday I was humping, man. I was like ants in my pants running around trying to keep up with this combine. But now that we have two grain cart drivers, it's nice. It's like a glass of water after a fistful of salt. Got a nearly wide open kicking out of there. And it'll come up pretty fast on you. You gotta be on your toes. So now instead of knocking my teeth out, just running and gunning it back at uh, at least 14 or 15 miles an hour, I'm gonna go a nice leisurely seven or eight miles an hour. I'm gonna stop flinging mud on the driveway. This is gonna be nice. And what I think I might do is throw the drone up in the air because very scenic farm. It's good corn. It's John Deere green. Got green on for the buggies. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So we'll check that out. So this truck doesn't exactly fit a full buggy load, 
uh, probably comes up about 200 bushels short or so. So now that we have two buggies running, I'm gonna sit here and just trickle it, trickle it out at about the same speed it's coming out of the truck. And I'll actually have an empty buggy because I don't know, it's a, it's a mental game, but I cannot stand going back without an empty buggy. Before I was just getting as empty as I could and shutting off and racing back to the combine, but I have a little more time to relax now that we're gonna be running two buggies. So we're kicking it up into here, right into the bin. It's a nice, nice system we got going on. I can't describe to you the sweet relief of a relaxing Sunday. So things are going well. We just keep dumping. I think the corn is right around 18 or 19 percent. It's not bad. Um, it's drying bin should be able to keep up with that. We're loving this fall weather. I can't wait to get done with harvest. And I appreciate all the support from you guys. Thank you so much.